hello everyone uh, in this video i'll show you uh, what is the use of uh, site markers in the crm portal i'll show you with a small demo how to configure it and how to use the site marker urls in our javascript or jquery so basically site markers are used to configure the kind of urls of our web pages so when you configure the site marker we'll have the name of each site markers and by that name like we are having the names right so these names can be used to access the urls of individual web pages which is configured here so i'll show you the demo of that one so before i proceed with the demo let me show you what current setup which i'm having here so uh, i'm having one of the page called the dnlb create application page this, i have the entity called the application entity and on that uh, here it is so this is the entity application i'm having one form called dnlb application form and i'm using this form this is the ui of the form first name last name and student field so this is the ui of that form so i will be using this form to create the application so this form uh, this web page already I have created so what I want is I want to open this web page on the click of one button on different page say uh, I have logged into my portal here so I have I have I have the one page called site student list here and on this list page I want to add one button here and on the click of that button I will be opening this page this uh, application create web page but before I open that one let me show you that whether it is accessible or not so I'll take the partial URL of this web page and try to access directly from here you can see a uh, page is accessing correctly and for your information already I have set up the entity for entity permissions everything in the background and I have given myself the correct role so you can ignore that part how to configure the entity permissions on the web page if you want to learn that one you can watch my previous video and I have explained there so you can see that one but uh, just for this video you can ignore that part and it is already configured and just I want you to load this uh, create application page when somebody will click one, one of the button which I will configure now uh, next to this uh, uh, page header uh, sorry this is called the page header like title of this page I want to place here and on the click of that uh, that create application page I want to load so and this uh, for you for your information this page is uh, nowhere accessible from the uh, link here so, uh, menus link you can see this page is nowhere placed here so we cannot access from the menus why because when we see the uh, from the power app studio of the portal app here we can see uh, that link is present here in the pages pages actions here pages names but thing is I have hidden it that is why that page is nowhere visible on the page if you'll unhide from here then this page will be uh, visible the link of that page will be visible here and we can on the click on that and then it is coming so in the real time project you will have some scenario like you they will they will ask you to place on button and on the click of that they wanted to open some other form to create or, or submit some applications on that so that part we will be using the site marker to open that particular web page what is asking on the create of the particular click or the particular button so let's proceed the configuration of this one so i'll open this web page and i first i'll try to go to the uh, web template of this web page so to go that you can go directly from here web template you can identify otherwise you can go to the web page then from web page you can go to the page template and from page template we are having web template so this is the actual web template uh, which is being used for this page and since we are going to modify one button here so I will take the uh, code of this the code is not here because sometimes it will not load uh, here so you can copy the name of this web template and then you have to go from here web template and search from here okay this is the page and currently the code is uh, minimum code is placed here just to display the uh, entity for entity list which I have used here to display the uh, record of the student here so uh, the few lines I have written so I will be modifying this web template to add one button here so 
first of all uh, as i mentioned uh, we are we are we are going to open the application uh, application uh, uh, create app create application web page right so for that uh, we have to configure the site marker here so i'm going to create new site marker it is dnlb create application okay and then website and the web page i need is dnlb and i'm having the create application web page okay so i have configured it and i will be using this name uh, to access the url of this web page so for that uh, we have to write uh, one uh, one line of the liquid script so first of all uh, let me put the script tag here in between then where and then it will be application create link that will be here we have to use site marker site marker and then we have to give the name here and after the uh, site marker then url so it will give you the code of i mean the link of the uh, this page what we have configured so this is the small line by using that line it will give you the site marker it uh, this object and from this object we are getting the url of that one so it is one line of code to get the url of the particular web page and make sure the name when you are using here in your site marker here it should not be changed that is why i am saying if suppose somebody has changed the name of this uh, site marker configuration here then this code will not be able to find the particular site marker here right and because of that a url will be not found and we cannot navigate to the particular web page so that is why uh, the uh, the restrict all uh, anyone who is trying to modify the uh, your site marker uh, name here okay in any configurations so now uh, i have the web link uh, available here so i will create the one button as one object so it is uh, add application type i will take as a button type then id i'll take this as a button add application then i need to give the value that means the text which will display on the button it is add application then i want to uh, style the web page, uh, this one web button on the uh, entry list so i want the primary button and placed on the right side of the page right so here in my liquid script i will take the uh, style it will float to the right and uh, we will take some margin from right so margin right i want around 15 pixel then the type of button so we can we can use the bootstrap class here to add the uh, bootstrap you know styling to the button so it will take the but i'll take the button primary type it will be blue color okay and then finally we will close that tag so object is created my button object is created and this object button i want to place next to the uh, this one so the, if you see the uh, class of this title here in the editor you will see that it is having the page header class as added here right so i will be accessing the page header class and then i will place the i will place the button next to that so i'll go to the web template here and then get the object by class name this one then and after that dot after i'm placing this object add application okay it is placed now once it is placed now we have to bind the event so like uh, when we click on this button uh, it should open the uh, applicate application page right so for that we have to bind the uh, uh, bind the uh, event click event on that button so that will happen when our document is ready so i'll take the document ready event here
okay when document is ready then find the object by find the element by this id name button this is my button id so i'll take that id here then on click of this okay so i want to i want to open the page in the next window like sorry new tab so when i click the uh, button i want to open the uh, same uh, create application page in the new new tab here so for that uh, we can use a uh, window dot open and then we have to give the url which will open so we know that the url is coming here from the site marker configuration so we'll take that one then if you want to open in the new window then we have to use the different preferences we are having we are having for the if you different target type we will have so we are having the target as blank then it will open in the new new page that's all so this is a small uh, small javascript which we can uh, write to get the site marker url then create the button object and then finally uh, uh, bind the event on the click of the button to open in the new window of that url so I have saved it and let's see if it is working. So for that, I can what I can do is I can uh, refresh my configuration. I can synchronize my configuration and then I will try to reload after that. Okay. I can see that my button is available now. And when I click on this one, let's see what is happening here. You can see the create application form is loaded. So this is how you can use the site marker uh, to configure your uh, to configure your web pages, and uh, those web pages, web pages can be opened by some button or some links. You can have the different uh, some links or clickable or something you can have there, and then you can navigate to the particular web page. So I hope now you understood uh, how to use that site marker, and and if you have any doubt in the configurations, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video, guys.